Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to zoom the camera out but still keep your HUD uh, actors in the same position. So we're going to zoom everything else except for some stuff. And a lot of people have trouble with this so I've decided to make a video. So let's get to it. The first thing we want to do is create an attribute and I'm going to call this a boolean attribute and we're going to call this zoom. And we need this is a trigger, so we need a trigger to let the camera know when and when not to zoom. So I'm going to create an actor, and I'm going to drag that actor onto the scene somewhere out of the way. And then we're going to open up that actor and unlock it. And the reason why we want to unlock it is because we need to get to the scene attributes. So we're going to create a rule. And we're going to say when key and I'm going to use spacebar is down. You'll use a button on your screen, so you'll make a trigger. You'll say when touch is pressed. This is just the trigger I'm going to use. We're going to say change attribute, game, zoom to true. So when I hit the spacebar, we're going to tell it to zoom the camera. Now we're going to create another rule, and we're going to say when attribute, game, dot zoom is true, we're going to interpolate the camera. So we're going to interpolate scene, camera, size, width. And the width of the iPhone is 480, so we're going to go 960. So we're going to go twice the, the size. And then we're also going to interpolate scene, camera, size, height. And we're going to do double for that too, so 320 times 2 is 640. And then we're also going to turn the graphics off so we don't see this actor. Now we're going to hit back. And I'm going to create another actor. And this is going to be our HUD actor. So our pause button and all that stuff. Okay, so in this actor here, we're going to create two self attributes. And they're going to be real attributes because it refers to location. And we need the decimal points. And we're going to call this one my X and my Y. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit change attribute and we're going to change my X to self position X. And we'll do change attribute again self my Y to self position Y. What this is going to do is it's going to set the X and Y of the location so that way when we interpolate it, it, it knows where to start from. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule. And we're going to say when attribute game zoom is true, we're going to interpolate self position X to self my x times 2 and we're doing times 2 because we zoomed the camera in twice as big um, so we're going to do the same thing for the actor and then we're going to go interpolate self position y to self my y times 2 and then we're going to go interpolate self and because we're zooming out your actor would normally look smaller so we want it to keep its size so at the same time the camera is zooming out we're going to zoom this actor in so we're going to self size width 2 and this actor here is 100 by 100 so I'm going to go 200 because it's twice we want it twice the size and then I'm going to interpolate self, size, height, also to 200 because this actor is 100 by 100. And we want to make sure the durations are the same all the way around. And let's change the color here so we can see it better on the screen. So now I'm going to place one here and one here. And you'll see now when I press spacebar, 
The camera zooms out, but the actors stay where they should be. And I'll show you what would happen to an actor that wasn't set to do that. So we'll go green. And I'll put that on the screen. And we'll hit preview again. So when you zoom, these actors would zoom with it. But these ones here we've set to keep its proportion and its location. And that's pretty much all you need to know how to zoom out the camera but keep your HUD actors in the same place.